Well, another one of my favorite women is coming up now, Representative Marsha Blackburn from the great state of Tennessee. She is a fighter. She is politically incorrect, and she has been a tireless advocate for the pro-life cause uh, in Congress. In October of 2015, she was picked to handle the lead investigative panel on infant lives, which, as you know, investigated Planned Parenthood's horrific harvesting and sale of baby body parts. So it's my great pleasure to welcome Representative Blackburn to today. Thank you so much. And uh, I am thrilled to step in with you this morning. And I know we also have some of our bloggers that are streaming and watching this. Why don't I start right there with the select investigative panel? Uh, I was honored to chair that panel. And we were given a one-year time frame, one year, to go in and investigate what was or was not happening with the relationship between Planned Parenthood and these third-party entities that were selling baby body parts and fetal tissues. Now, the reason the House took this investigation up is because it is illegal to sell baby body parts in the United States of America. You cannot do this. You can donate for research, but if you make one penny of profit, you are outside of the law. U.S. Code 42289G2. So, this is something that we were looking to see if they were or were not inside the law or outside of the law. And we had a one-year time frame. Now, I had a fantastic committee of pro-life Republicans that were on the majority side of that dais. And let me tell you, they really rose to the challenge and did a wonderful job. And through this year, we issued 40 subpoenas to different abortion clinics and entities and to these third party sellers. Now, as you can imagine, when you issue a subpoena to somebody that thinks they may be skirting the law a little bit, you're going to get a lot of redactions when that information comes back in. But we persisted with this and continued to pull information and build our case. We had held hearings, we did depositions, and at the end of the year, we issued a report. You can pull up the entire 412-page report. It's on my website, blackburn.house.gov. And as we issued that report, based on what we found from the subpoenas and the hearings and the depositions, we issued a total of 15 criminal referrals. Now, 11 of those went to different states. Four of them went to DOJ. And about six weeks ago, we got a letter from DOJ. Yes, indeed, they are taking up all four federal criminal referrals. And they are investigating those. And the FBI is taking up the entire body of work, all 15 criminal referrals and looking at these. So as we come to the 45th annual March for Life, we have Planned Parenthood and these third party vendors under a federal criminal investigation by DOJ or FBI. And that has happened because of the work that pro-lifers have supported. And the work that we've been able to do, the body of evidence that we were able to build, and then turn over to DOJ, and turn over to the different states' attorneys general. It is compelling work, as you all know. We were able to get a decision in Orange County, California, that was uh, very favorable, and ended up closing down. An, an abortion clinic. So that work has yielded fruit. We've also had some legislation on the House floor 
uh, we've passed out of the House and we're waiting on our good friends in the Senate, as we have a tendency to do around here in D.C. a lot. Uh, but we're waiting on our good friends in the Senate to take up the legislation that says on Title X funds, if you do abortion, you're not going to get the money. And we think that that money should be going to the women's health clinics so that it is providing health care for women in underserved areas in underserved populations. So we look forward to seeing that move in, in the Senate. So we've also got another bill, and I'm watching the clock because I've got to go over to the House floor. My legislation, the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act, uh, the Born Alive Act will go to the floor at 9 o'clock, which means as the bill's sponsor, I've got to be on the floor. And uh, I got to be there to uh, make certain that all goes well with the debate. About 10.30 this morning, we should be voting on that legislation. So uh, I know you all will be watching that. What the Born Alive Survivor, Abortion Survivors Act is going to do will be to put in place, um, well, first of all, let me say that, it is there to protect these mothers and babies that survive an abortion. And it is there to hold accountable healthcare providers. And if this baby survives that abortion, that baby deserves the same standard of care as any other birth. And it requires those healthcare professionals to provide that standard of care and immediately get that baby and that mother to a hospital. So the bill will put in place criminal penalties for healthcare providers that do not provide that standard of care. It will allow those mothers a private right of action. And it says that those mothers cannot be prosecuted. So those are the, that's the bill and the provisions within that bill that we're going to have on the floor <coughs> today. So I just want to say thank you to you all for being here. Uh, we are thrilled that you continue to come in and that you stay with the cause of supporting life. And many of you who are streaming today, who are in churches and with community groups around the country, we thank you for the work that you're doing and the awareness that you're bringing to the issue and to the cause of life because it is the first protected right the right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. So we thank you for being here. We thank you for being so diligent in the fight through the last several years because it does yield fruit. It's the reason, because of pro-lifers around the country, it's the reason we were able to have a select investigative committee put all the resources of the House behind investigating what Planned Parenthood and Big Abortion and these body sellers were doing. It is the reason we were able to keep that committee pushing forward for the full year that we had to do this work, which as you all know, in, um, in congressional time, a year is not very much time. And it's the reason we were able to get those criminal referrals. And it's the reason we have those investigations going on. And because of pro-lifers here and around the country, it's the reason we have support in the House to bring forward bills like the Born Alive Survivors Act and push it to the floor for a vote and then send it over to the Senate today. So thank you all for being here. We uh, wish you well. Looks like you're going to have good weather and favor and sunshine and above freezing temperatures for the weekend. <laughs> so be well, be healthy, and keep doing good work. Thank you so much.